Hello and good day, 648 TV family. It's your girl Annie, co host of 648 TV. So, we have some information to share with you whether you're from Point Fortin, Trinidad and Tobago, or anywhere in the world that you are. Listen to the information, brothers and sisters, and know that we are very glad to continue each one helping one because we know our chain is only as strong as its weakest link. Here's the information. Have you lost a loved one and feeling the blues? But have so many friends and family to call to give them the news? We understand that your grief can sometimes have you low. So to help, we are now offering obituaries on our daily shows. We'll help you get the word around that your loved one has passed on. We'll tell others of relatives' connection and also funeral information. Call or WhatsApp 648 Television at 324 0844 to book your obituaries today. We look forward to doing business with you, and of course, as always, very glad to serve you. 648 TV family, nothing but love. Blessings, everybody. This is your girl, Jen Jen, Sister Jenny, Auntie Jenny, and if you want to get formal, Miss Jennifer Frederick. Join me on 648 Television, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays between the hours of 1.30 p.m. to 2 p.m. with Let We Talk The Thing. It will be exciting. It will be stimulating. It will be edifying. Yes, Let We Talk The Thing. Because you know it has plenty things to talk. You don't know. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, come this Monday. Miss Jennifer Frederick, live at 640 Television. Let me talk the thing now. Bless all your tune in. Bless, bless, bless the day, 640 family, brothers and sisters around the world. All your bless the day. Again, all the names of the boy Irvin, who hosts 640 Television, who hosts a real talk, who hosts under the blood. Just give me a gentle reminder. Mind me, brothers and sisters, take the information right here. Now mind me, you have your businesses to advertise, contact us, you will get it to the relevant persons. Brothers and sisters, I don't know you slow at 640 television is each one help one. Right, brothers and sisters, each one help one. So ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, we say contact us. I mean, contact us, let me get the information out there to brothers and sisters who are actually focused and steadfast on what is taking place. Mind me, this 2022 is 2020, me 2020, you are 2020, all of us in this together. So ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, family and friends, from all your boy Irvin, the FYI team, and my lovely wife Annie, all your contact 640 television, and let us get your information out there to brothers and sisters that is in dire need of proper services. So all your big up all yourself, remember to stay focused, all we small businesses, all we big businesses, those who have the, the, the fruits and whatever business, on the link 6 for your television. That is what we here for. All our we is one family. Bless good night, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, family and friends. Bless good night, bless good night, bless good night. Once again, you know, it's all about you. Vin co host a 6 for your television, co host a real talk, co host a under the blood. Brothers and sisters, and all you know, my lovely wife. Annie, bless. Good night, everybody. Six for a TV family. Welcome to Under the Blood with yes. Nathan and myself. Yes. You all come join in. Let's have conversation. Let's have sweet fellowship. Let us be real and reasonable while we are it. And you know, Amen. of course, we must exercise gratitude. So we want to say thanks to Facebook slash Meta yes. for giving us the opportunity to utilize your platform to meet and greet. And of course, as the name says, social media, maintain a social relationship with those that we love. So again, Facebook, we thank you. Meta, we thank you. And all of our brothers and sisters at 640 Television, once again, we want to encourage you, as you come up, make an action, make interaction with the, with the platform. Make yes. sure and put the likes, put your hearts, ladies and gentlemen, put yes. your angry face. But at the end of the day, this is the time where we put each and every one of our situations under the blood. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we all know that we could have all different kind of conversation. We could talk, we could discuss. A lot of us is skilled. We could build things. A lot of us could, we, we go with a lot of places. So we have a lot of history. But at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, there's a time and a place for everything. And this is the time where we give God the praise, the honor, and the glory. And we ask each and every one of you, each and every one of us connected outside there tonight, 
like brothers and sisters, we are asking that we put each and every one of our situations, our downfalls, our shortcomings, yes. we take it and put it under the blood of Jesus tonight. Amen. So I want to thank each and every one of our brothers and sisters that tune in at 648 Television tonight. Yes. All share the life, share the life, share the life. All in all, boy, even all in all, girl, honey. Nothing but love. Yes, and before we get down into any conversation tonight, of course, mm -hmm. we want to open up in a word of prayer. Amen. Ask God to open our minds and open our hearts so that we can receive from him and so that we could also pour out and share something with each other tonight. So I please open. agree with us. I will open it. I would have. All right. Right. So ladies and gentlemen, I will open it. I would have prayed. So I want to thank ever living God, Heavenly Father. I want to thank you for all you have done and all you continue to do. Lord is your son, Uvin, and Father, I just want to ask on behalf of brothers and sisters in Trinidad and Tobago, the Caribbean, and around the world. Yes, Father, Lord. you say, ask and we shall receive. Yes, Lord. So, Father, we want to continue to ask you to just continue to cover our nation, cover our governing authority, yes, cover Lord. our education sector, and each and every one of our utilities. Father, you continue to take charge. Yes, Lord. Lord we want to put each and every sick person in your hand tonight, those who yes. are affected with COVID-19 and yes, Lord. any other illnesses. Yes. Father, we're asking that you take charge tonight let your glory continue to be reigned father we continue to give you all the praise all the honor and all the glory you are worthy to be praised we say jesus christ is lord king of all kings and lord of all Hallelujah. lords so father we exalt your name and tonight we ask that you take charge yes, of tonight's lord. conversation yes, father we god. pray tonight's information father you just take charge of the platform i pray In that each and every jesus. person that come up but i pray that you bless their families you bless their homes yes, those lord. who have businesses you bless their businesses father yes. and you just continue to take charge of trinidad and Tobago take charge of the children, take charge of the husbands and the wives. Yes, Father, Lord. I pray that men rise up and be mighty men and women rise up and be women of valor. So, Lord, we continue to give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. Hallelujah. And we thank you for having us in the land of the living. Father, we give you and we worship you. Thank you, Lord. We exalt your name and we lift you up. Thank so, you, Lord, Lord, tonight we want to thank you for all you have done and all you are going to do. Thank you, Jesus. In tonight's conversation. Yes, Lord. No other name but Jesus' name. Amen and amen. And Thank amen. You, Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, family and friends, all your blessed. Good night. Blessed. Good night, good night. everybody. Blessed. Good night. Those of you who are checking in and who will be checking in at the end of the day, we say blessed. Good night, Miss Elliot. I say blessed. Good night, Miss Joyce. I see Miss Jennifer Ferrer. Miss Jennifer Ferran and bless good night to each and every one of our brothers and sisters the yes. under the blood team. Yes. All your blessed. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you something. Eh? We was actually. At the end of the day, you know, you just bounce up the videos and you just save them, you just compile them, and as the conversation comes along, mm -hmm. you deal with it. So this video that we're really going to run here is a video from my year. Actually, it's November the 8th, 2001, to be, to be exact. Something is... You don't have to plug this thing on and I need to hear first, please. Right? And ladies and gentlemen, we sit back and we listen a comprehensive conversation in our nation. And we just want to ask brothers and sisters, despite what direction we go, what pressure that we believe we under. Listen, this is why we ask our brothers and sisters, let us hold on to our legacy. Let us hold on to our, to what mm. God blessed us with. Yes, Ladies and gentlemen, God has done marvelous thing for our nation. He has blessed our people marvelously, despite what you might have resources, hmm. gifting and talent is something that no one is short in, in our hmm. nation. Hmm. The fact that some of us continue to act and, and continue to promote racial motivations behind it, brothers and sisters, we're asking is high time we stop, let our personal light shine and allow the light of God to shine in our spaces. Yes. Mind me. Tonight, we ain't talking to no Christian, no Baptist, no Hindu. We're talking to everyone. So once you belong to some sort of whatever, let we talk. Because at the end of the day, we cannot continue going ahead and acting like we are alone functioning in society. True. While we continue to listen, some make irresponsible statements. And when you listen it, you already know it's because of fear. You already know it's because based on the conversation, lack of facts and only circumstantial coming out. Yes. Brothers and sisters, we cannot continue like this. And when you see it reach troubling like this, when you see it reach questionable like this, when you see it reach disrespectful like this, well then, brothers and sisters, and a matter of fact, we not we was not even supposed to wait so long before we cry out to God. True. I mean, I myself is guilty and all ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I myself was on the on the wide road, you know, mm. trying your best to do everybody 
else say school. So you find yourself being ordinary and find yourself saying, well, boy, if it is I stand up for this, what people will say about me? And we be get, being complacent and not understanding that each and every one of us have a role and a function mm. in society. Brothers and sisters, we continue to complain. We complain about being under dictatorship. We complain about brothers and sisters who we say that we meet starving, although we yet to present these people. But the thing is, ladies and gentlemen, tonight, Facebook, we just want to ask you just to give us the opportunity just to run this video. Because this is as real as it gets. Matter of fact, we get the video on Facebook and brothers and sisters, we say, let me bring it to you. Now, this video actually was made November the 8th, 2001. These people are tied up dealing with COVID-19 the same way, just like how some of us are dealing with COVID-19. While we continue to complain in each and every one of our spaces and not utilize what it is God blessed us with. Ladies and gentlemen, there are some people out there dealing with it as real, as real, as real as possible. Yes. Yeah, so what are we asking from the viewers? Mm -hmm. From um, sharing the video with them tonight, lover, because I know you all heard Irvin say that we're going to show you all a video and he did touch on a couple of points, but some of you probably still wondering, well, where Irvin and Annie, where are you all going with this? Brothers and sisters, sometimes people um, experience desperation at certain points in the yes. life. Um, many a times we go through stuff and we don't ask for help. We don't cry out for help like Irvin say. And, you know, it's a matter of waiting too long and it's a matter of um, sometimes crying into the wrong air. Yes. As well as a matter of also giving up. Hmm. Because we never know how the tables may turn if we hold on a little bit longer. Yes. So this video um, that we're going to show tonight again, just like last night's video, is a little bit disturbing. But given the level of conversation and things that we see and taking place around us today, many things are disturbing, right? So I guess it's yes. one of the things Might that we well used to. Yes. Real. And you all know that Six Boy TV is really good to, um, you know, bringing it out into for discussion's sake and bringing it out so that we could help motivate and encourage each other to divert away from doing certain things and yes. of course start practicing certain things a little bit more or if we have not been practicing it actually start practicing certain things right now like if we have not been giving if we have been selfish as a people or as an individual <laughs> we could start working on that now we could yes. start practicing that now if we have not been grateful we could start being grateful now oh, yeah. if we have not been Worshiping. contented mm -hmm. we could start being contented contented now Amen. some of us have not been um being bold and fearless and standing and we know what is right but we just have been doing what is right in our corner not actually making us stand with it then now is a good time to start Bless doing night. it and you just made another point there as well are worshiping so if we have not been worshiping actually verbalizing and manifesting by our actions that thank you lord and that even that mm. because the word says give honor to whom honor is due encouraging each other is a form of encouragement when you see somebody doing something good and you tell the person i commend you and i appreciate you and i would greatly um honor it if you continue doing what you are doing then brothers and sisters what we're doing is encouraging that individual or that organization to stay on the path although we never know sometimes a person is really discouraged yes. but by the elements that we continue to throw you know we throw one today we throw our next one tomorrow then you think you give them an ease so now nah, i'm not on that and then somebody else comes and you're not looking back to do any repairs and and we we push each other sometimes to the point and um even like Irvin have been mentioning to us a couple of times over the past few days, mass formation, psychosis, we yes. see in, we see in now. And this is not a now thing, eh? It's just that, that now science actually name it. Yes. But this is not a now thing when we take a good look at history, mm -hmm. when um a number of people come together Bless night. with Bless good night, Miss Judy and everybody else on the live. When a number of people, sometimes they don't really come together, but their energies share a similar sentiment and things going in a particular direction, yes. then what does happen is that emotion actually gets massive yes. because it is being fed. It's, remember, we always talk about the energy. So that energy is now being fed, and that's why it, it gets big in our society. So what we have to do is really target the problem in a general capacity yeah. if we have to get down to the root of it so again we see things taking place hmm. and while it might be disturbing for some 
Some might say, well, I don't face the reality that this is what it is. We have to continue to each one help one. We have to continue to be our brother's keeper. We have to continue to stand on righteousness. We have to continue to do what is right and what is necessary and stay factual in the midst of this. And again, we have to continue doing it together because the masses are coming together with their opinion and yeah, agenda. So those that know quick, right fix. and know better have to do likewise if we have to fix any problem or address any problem and just calling out things sometimes lover does be the beginning of getting it fixed yeah and ladies and gentlemen while we have to they're just touching on it here this video is not good to downgrade any religion because we no, know a lot of muslim and a lot of hindu people who really do entertain that type of activities as we know in trinidad and tobago the government and all it is loan out to marry somebody who under the age Mm. You understand? Mm. Because you know, and then remember that we have to go to court to actually fight for that to happen so children could get equal opportunities to grow up in a society yes. where they actually yeah, yes. where they actually have the opportunity to become the best that they could be. Bless yes. good night, Hernandez. Mm. And wait as we see here, ladies and Hi, gentlemen. Miss Gail. Gail, bless good night. We find ourselves in a position because a lot of people we under panic. Yes. Right, and being under panic, we we listen in the conversation, the quick fix methods. You understand? Yes. And wait, as we say that it cannot continue like that, ladies and gentlemen. There is a name above all names. There is a mm -hmm. man who sent his only begotten son to pay the ultimate sacrifice, just in case you find yourself in a position like this that we are in right mm -hmm. now in the world. Ladies brother and Imran, I see Brother Imran saying, bring it on. You're getting anxious to see the video. Yes, yes. Grab so a glass of water, grab something, because we we it could be a little disturbing. Yes. Despite what, ladies and gentlemen, the quick fix method, that theory would not work. True. So everyone who comes up with that blessed night, we must continue to watch, analyze, yes. and understand that this is not the way, ladies and gentlemen, from the beginning of the conversation, we told brothers and sisters, whether it is a Hindu, a Baptist, a Muslim, a atheist, whatever you is, now is not the time for us to be out in the open, playing games, hmm. not understanding that we must be real and reasonable, factual with our actions. Yes. Brothers and sisters, I stand as a Christian. Yes. As a child of the most high God. As a high child God. of the most and high God. So when we speak, mm -hmm. we speak of the angle of the Bible. Yes. We ask him. Let me do vex for that. Yes. At least be proud that a brother and a sister is actually holding on to the faith. And, and even self. Yes. yes. And even self use a Hindu. We encouraging that. Hold yes. on to your religion. Yes. Not the part where some is trying to misguide and act like it's a racial style. Mm. This is not what it is about. True. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, while we... And to we... be fair, sorry, mm -hmm. sorry, ahead, lover. And to be fair, mm -hmm. while this video is documented or was documented in a specific um, region, who is to say? Ah. Because this is made public, right? So to be fair, who is to say that this same act is not, is not taking place in other societies, in other yes. parts of the world? Because all of us are humans and we face it from time to time. So brothers and sisters, let me run the video before the people get back with us. <laughs> Pawana, who dreams of going to school and becoming a teacher, applies makeup. A favorite pastime for little girls, but Pawana knows she is preparing for what awaits her. My father has sold me because we don't have bread, rice and flour. He has sold me to an old man. The white-bearded man who claims he's 55 years old comes to collect her. Oh. He's bought Parwana for 200,000 Afghanis, just over 2,000 US dollars. Covered up, Parwana whimpers as her mother holds her. This is your bride, please take care of her, says Parwana's father. Of course I will take care of her, replies the man. His large hands grab her small frame. Pawana tries to pull away. As he carries her only bag of belongings, she again resists. Digging her heels into the dirt. But it's futile. The fate of this small, helpless child has been sealed.
must say thank you very much to CNN and the and Freedom Center. Freedom Center. Yes. But ladies and gentlemen, based on what it is we see in there, I want a lot of us to sit back and reevaluate the position that we find ourselves in in the middle of this COVID-19. Yes. And let me be real and reasonable. We know it hard for a lot of people and we know it's slow for a lot of people. Yes. But listen the level of conversation that is taking place. People are actually selling their children because mm. they don't have bread, flour, and wheat. Yes. John, that is the whole heights. This is what we come up to talk about. Now, while we might say it's sick, we must understand what if that is the law on that side of the world. You if understand? It, if it's a legal act. If it's a legal act, and even self, it's a legal act. We're not condoning it, but what it is we're saying, as a man and a woman who come together to make a child, mm -hmm. to sit down and formulate the idea to find yourself in the position. Mind me, this video was made November the 8th. 2001 hmm. and they sell this child because they don't have bread flour or wheat hmm. now listen listen brothers and sisters this is why we say in a lot of us coming up and we dressing the part but he would have god ask us to submit ourselves to him yes. ask us to apply him in each and every corner of our lives yes. ladies and gentlemen we know that hard days will be ahead. Yes. Based on following the story of Christ, he came to pay the ultimate sacrifice. Hmm. And he was sold for 30 pieces of silver? He was. Wasn't he persecuted? Wasn't he called a blasphemer? Hmm. Didn't they say that he was not the Christ? True. Brothers and sisters, and it's not like Christ just show up short notice. As far as we understand in the scriptures, John the Baptist came baptizing with water and came with the message. Yes. Behold. Even the prophet Isaiah spoke of his coming. It was prophesied Amen. many years before. But I understand what you're saying to lover that um, it might be legal, you know? Yes. It might be legal. The law might make provision for such a thing, for such a terrible thing. And I agree with what the viewers are saying right now, that it's scary yes. and so on. And um, while the law might make provision for such a thing, so it makes it legal here. However, there's a difference. There is a boundary between something that is legal and, moral, and, and something right. that is morally right. You yes. know? And when we think about it, the level of barriers or the level of grounds we really have to break, the level of conscience that we have to ignore to entertain certain types of behaviors yes. in our society. You know, I, I, as a mother too, I, I do, you know, I would come straight out and let you all know as a person that believes in the word of God mm -hmm. and a person that believes in, you know, the fact that we were given children, we were lent children and that we have a responsibility over these children because they are the future. Yes. Then something inside of us, although yes, Caesar might say it's okay if you have to do this, you go ahead and do this as long as you could probably prove X and Y and Z. Caesar might say it's okay, but does God say it's okay? Because Caesar already gave us the okay, but God didn't God didn't confirm that as yet. You know, God didn't say that. And and I just saying as yet, really and truly, who we really seeking to please at the end of the day. Are we really building up something? Are we really fixing the problem is yeah. it part of the solution we creating or are yes. we really destroying something that was beautifully created um the fruits are the spirit again and that is where god does always make the difference did we really exercise enough patience ah. in what we were going through did ah. we exercise enough self-control do we really have that love and that peace and that joy that, that um we, we and that humility about, yes. you know that we we are required to have as creation of god or are we expecting that man and mankind fix all of our problems and handle all of our concerns because this is a really really serious thing it's scary and it's troubling to see you know you could imagine because the article said that the young girl went away she was sticking her heels in the ground mm -hmm. and anybody know a little bit about like physical responses to things sticking your heels in the ground means to say that you're feeling you abused will, yeah. and you and you and you, you just don't go, yeah. you understand if you're not doing something willingly so really and truly me that could come across like an act of abuse as well you it know could. doing that to a child did anybody yes. speak to the child did the child agree no, was the no, child no, no, okay no. with it not get complacent with the conversation we could go back to the beginning 
Pawana, who dreams of going to school and becoming a teacher, applies makeup. A favorite pastime for little girls, but Pawana knows she is preparing for what awaits her. That is part probably part of the law, not the culture. Like probably the law in that When I part. say the culture, like the, like the normal day, it's something that is it's happening. Yeah. It's not a one-time thing. So she knows about it. She knows about it. And ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. let me do get complacent with what dress code Pawana have on and her parents have on. This is not to disrespect no one's religion, but we have to be real and reasonable. This is a global problem that taking place yes. in different religions too. Yes. You see what Miss Elliot said, that is their culture. Now check the heights in it. What it is we saying is, even self is their culture. Watch the position. Why they say they sell Poana. Mm -hmm. They sold Poana because they don't have flour, rice, and wheat. And wheat. Mm -hmm. So brothers and sisters, what they're explaining is that they took the daughter. Imagine a mother had to escort she daughter. Your father will quickly in jail. It's harder for your mother to do that. Anybody will... You understand? Mm -hmm. There's an argument that with that conversation, you're winning with anybody. Maternal instincts. Maternal instincts, mommy yeah. will always stand up with your offspring and watch where it is it reached to with this mother. Hmm. All in the name of receiving something to eat. Now, this is... Now, this is what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen. Why it is we can't afford to look at those who play in dress-up. Because the word of God is the word of God. The conversation is the conversation. No matter what book you look into. Hmm. If the book is telling you that a time will come that God's word or God's glory will not work. If it is your cry on him. Well then ladies and gentlemen you need to reevaluate the book and the text that you're reading. True. You True. have to be real and reasonable. True. We could speak about things that happened in the past. Some sit back and explain to us that. Oath, um, the Bible was utilized to enslave black people and it is responsible so they can sit down and read. What we would love to do is be factual in the conversation and brothers and sisters, we put everything under the blood. We ain't saying we know everything. So True. we do know that the Bible was utilized as a tool during slavery. You're right. But this was the time when brothers and sisters were being told what is in the Bible. Hmm. They were being told what is translated in the Bible. We find ourselves in this 2022, this 2022, ladies and gentlemen, and even coming up the road where people are asking you to actually pick up your scriptures. You can't say you ain't heard this yeah. by six for your television. The weather is a big man, a big woman, or a little child. And as you could see, the little children and them continuing to come forward and speak. Yes, Lava, let us not run past this comment. Miss Gail said... As parents, we should position ourselves as such to provide for our family. Every effort should be put in place so that we don't have to depend on our children to provide for the entire family. And this is what this is um the difference. That, is, uh -huh. that bring a different perspective this in the is conversation. The, well, this was too. my thought yeah. exactly because it clearly shows that mm -hmm. there, there's a breakdown in society or there has been a breakdown in society somewhere along the line. And you know, evidently, this is not something that happen overnight with the snap of our fingers and mm -hmm. that is why we continue to hear people say read for yourself while i may come and tell you or i could come and read to you but i could change up the words while i read i could break down things in simpler words to you while i read but this that spirit of dependency upon man mm -hmm. needs to be broken because man will fail mm -hmm. systems will fail society may fail from time to time even nature fails us and god orchestrates it in such a way lover yeah. so that we could realize Amen. that he has all the power Sometimes the distraction comes so that his our attraction towards him could now be raised because sometimes we take away from his glory. Not sometimes. What we do is times. take away from his glory when we continue to place all the emphasis on other things and other persons. And that is where the danger comes in. Yeah, yes. our heart is broken too. Yes, Our Steve, exactly. Too, but at the end of the day, Steve, uh, this is why we come up to discuss. And ladies and gentlemen, this is why we're asking. Because if it is we don't pay attention to what is going on in society, ladies and gentlemen, things like this could be happening in our spaces and we don't even know. True. Far too often we bounce up story where the father sleeping with the chair and he doesn't know that all the time. True. But when it reached before the court, you shock with now. Nice. This with this of man. The information. Yeah, yes. you this with this man practicing yes. all them years. What the hell I seen here? Yes. You understand? 
and far too often you hear in story with it, this one who you expecting to be acting positive when they do hear the conversation and that's that dotishness is corruption and all kind of dotishness. Yes. But ladies and gentlemen, what it is we saying we cannot continue to navigate with that type of styling. We yes. at some point in time in there's a time and a place for every single thing. And now is the time for each and every person in the corner, in the spaces, whether in the public or you're moving through the market. Now it's time for us to proclaim the name of Christ. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, if we are to fix the problem that is going on in our society if we are to get rid of COVID-19 and his cousin and each and every one of the variants, brothers and sisters, we need to fall down on all fours yeah. and cry out on the name of Christ. Brothers and sisters, we are to sit back, pull our scriptures, utilize it to reinforce what is taking place and what we endorse, what it is we come and understand. God say he will never leave the righteous forsaken. That being said and done, there is not one covenant that God made and has broke. Brothers and sisters, the ultimate sacrifice was already made. You don't need to uh, sit back and worry about what argument you had with your neighbor and where your neighbor would think about you. Yes. When you start to act differently, you have the reason to be functioning in a society yes. that worldly and understand. When brothers and sisters say they see a difference in you, let them see a difference with Christ in you. Yes. Let them say, boy, hey, you're in the world, but you're not of the world. You will utilize what the world have to bring all the best in brothers and sisters, your family and your friends and every person that you know because you come to understand what it is we really living in we continue to be complacent we continue to look and act and want to receive worldly treasures and not understanding the level of sacrifices we're making yes. we're selling things that we need not sell we're gambling things that we need not gambling we're acting in ways that we need not act brothers yes. and sisters it's high time for us to stand up and rise up and act as mighty men time for us to act as kings and queens yes. as we are we calling on we east indian we white we syrian we africans everyone who actually going through this struggle that we are in here this afternoon because we are living in a multicultural nation we factually know that so we can't afford to sit back and preach ra racialism we can't afford to sit back and preach segregation we can't afford to sit back and preach dotishness we must preach the word of god ladies and gentlemen and god said ask and we shall receive so brothers and sisters i am asking for your help i am asking for your hand i am asking for your togetherness coming forward and praising god and bringing back the glory days to our land despite mm. the irrelevant adjustments that have to be made ladies and gentlemen we must remember our essential workers we yes. must remember our children yes. that have to continue to be educated and yes. we must remember the weaker ones those who do not get the factual information yes. on time brothers and sisters the only how we will fix these broken and these broken systems the only how we will fix a lot of these things that is not functioning properly the yes. only how we will bring relevant support to relevant conversation is if we allow God to manifest in our spaces we yes. cannot continue to be ignorant to what is plain God is there. He already has been there. He has been waiting on each and every one of us. And all of us, we well know the harvest is ripe and the laborers are few. So yes. tonight we're saying, come forward, laborers. Come forward, brothers and sisters. Yes. Even the negative naysayers, there is something positive that you could do. So brothers and sisters could look at you with some form or some sort of respect. Understand it is never too late once you're in the land of the living. Amen. And overlooking brothers and sisters, overlooking the people that we seem to that deem to be weaker ones in our society and yes. you know do having our way with them really and truly that is an act of advantage and god is so displeased with that that listen what he says in the book of exodus chapter 22 mm -hmm. verse 22 and 24 you know it's real sad it's real real sad brothers and sisters but if we know if we understand what the word of god says and how he views particular things we could really help to shape and really and truly i believe lover that mm -hmm. our forefathers knew but somewhere along the line we drift away from it so this is what we have to come back to because this is the truth and this is the fact if what sometimes when we see um men end up dead and men end up murdered and different yes. things happen we don't realize that that is god executing judgment because listen what the word of god said again in exodus 22 verse 22 and 24 he said you, you shall not afflict any widow or fatherless Last child night. if thou afflict them in any wise and they cry at all unto me hmm. i will surely hear their cry and hmm. my wrath shall wax hot and i will kill you with the sword hmm. and your wives shall be widows and your children fatherless this verse is telling us that we watch people and we find people i them, them don't have nobody you know nobody not supporting the them the lonely the destitute mm -hmm. they don't have anything so we we will take advantage we would use them to our advantage and we would have our right. way with them mm -hmm. but the word of god is saying that if you hurt them in any way 
and they have a relationship with me and cry out to me about what they are experiencing mm -hmm. then i am going to get angry at you and i will execute judgment on you yes and we don't want that we doesn't like when the tables turn on us so before it reached to that we need to get the message out there the conversations might be had sometimes but the information needs to go out there again above all powers and above all kings god is above all man his instructions his commandments his ordinances matter more than any law that caesar could give us because so much that he said listen run down to caesar what is caesar may you see unto me give unto me what is rightfully mine again he said as uh, go ahead and abide by the laws of your land as long as it is in accordance with my word and that is why not all the time when we hear you have clearance and leeway to do certain things you just go ahead and do it all willy-nilly you know and we encourage and even now in the midst of this pandemic hmm. all the time in um you know the apostle paul he actually did commend um the men and brethren for getting educated and inventing yes. things and becoming um you know doctors and lawyers and engineers and all these things he did commend people for get you realizing that they have intelligence stepping into it and starting to invent and so on but also brothers and sisters remember we have a responsibility to please god and no time yes. we're supposed to feel as amen. though we amen. higher than god or we bigger than god amen at the end of the day we have to answer to him for everything that we do so we need to ensure that our actions continue to line up with amen. god's will amen. he never authorized us in no way to hurt another person hmm. as a matter of fact there's only one exemption to that rule i saw in the bible and even when jesus christ was being crucified on calvary's cross amen hmm. ladies and gentlemen brothers and sisters only at the end of the day we have a responsibility to understand that though you might find yourself in a position tonight where resources might be flowing as much as possible. Brothers and sisters, not me say it. Matthew 16, 26, 27 explains, for what will it profit a man if he gain the whole world? Brothers and sisters, mm. we have to be real and reasonable. Mm. We have no reason to be looking at short-term measures yes. when we live in a long-term life and supposed to be leaving a legacy. Yes. for our children's children children yes we must be real and reasonable not me say so is the scripture say hmm. so hmm. a real man leaves an inheritance for his children's children true and brothers and sisters how are we going to leave an inheritance if it is we do not practice practice hmm. the right thing you might say even you're only talking that because you're reading the bible brothers and sisters it always wasn't like this it always wasn't like this. We had mm. to be real and reasonable at one point in time, and you would quicker choose to go online. But there's a time and a place for everything. Yes. And when you was a child, you think like a child, you make decisions as a child. Yes. But when you become an adult, understand the responsibility, the position that God put you in, and things that you have navigated from. Yes. Well, then you have no choice but to fall on your knees and continue to praise and worship God and exalt Him and lift up His name. Yes. Encourage brothers and sisters to do the same. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, look at the video. A hmm. short-term solution for a long-term plan. Yes. Taking square pegs and putting it in wrong hole. Trying to. Trying to. It is impossible. This is what I was saying just now, Lover, mm -hmm. that the Apostle Paul, he did commend us um, as men and brethren for developing on our intelligence and talents and abilities. However... The biblical antidote for going through something like this, such a plague, such a pandemic, the biblical antidote. So there's absolutely nothing against the vaccination because, again, it's a blessing to yes. utilize your talents and abilities. This is what God wants us to do. But mm -hmm. we should never put it above. Amen. You know, so while we are being vaccinated, the biblical antidote for what we're going through right now, love, is to sit still. Amen. Hold your corner and just sit still. <laughs> Wait until it pass over. That was, the first, 
But that was the first lineup. That is yes. one of the pillars in fighting. That was the first the thing virus. we hear. But you know, flesh had to rise up. Yeah. Flesh and blood had to rise up, and we have to give way to self because pride must be seen and must be heard. But the word of God said that pride, pride comes before fall. Mm. So when you think that this is your present situation right now, and the only thing you could do about this right mm. now is raise up your whole self and come up with some kind of crazy ideology Selfs. and go along with it, and then you influencing people along the way because no matter how low you think you are weak you think you are or even if you're popular famous and so on there are always people looking at other people but really and truly again what we supposed to hold the dearest right now even if you went and you got your vaccine yeah quarantine as much Amen. as possible stay under the blood Amen. and stay home as much as possible only go and intermingle if you have to so much more we would have learned from our children and from our Spouses from our relatives about yes. our homes if we only had. You understand? Why are you turning a blind eye to what's going on in our country? T and T by extending by extension the world our to our brother and, and sister, sister with this thing. It is hurting some. Okay, and not some. So please, when it hurts some, have a heart. Sorry if I'm a little off your program, but I saw a live today with some families that got damaged from this thing. Check it, check it. Look at Harris. This is why we're talking about rich city scriptures. Understand what the scriptures say. We're saying we don't try all different kind of format and we're having a problem coming up with a solution because mm. everybody's supposed to be sitting at the table and coming up with ideas. And some refuse to, but at the end of the day, we pray in God that they man up and actually start to come with some solutions. Yes. The reason why we're talking about it is because we're not comfortable with the position that we are in. We know we have too much scholars and we know we have brothers and sisters in position in Trinidad and Tobago. It cannot be up to the government alone. And when the government put forward the solution, yes. we displease. So ladies and gentlemen, what it is we saying before we go forward in any conversation and continue to condemn the government and start to utilize statements mm. that does not make sense, things that is not true and misguide brothers and sisters, we decide to let you know. It makes no sense going that way. Here we can check, you can check Timothy 6 verse 6 No, there is great gain in godliness Amen. listen there is great gain in godliness with contentment brothers and sisters it's high time we understand and we continue to be relevant continue to be factual with the position that we are in yes. a lot of us continue to complain a lot of us continue to cry out a lot of us continue to say nothing good and working but we're not understanding that you don't even understand that you just might be the person to come up with a solution to help the nurses and them but you're not sitting down and being quiet and allowing the holy spirit to work in your space and while you continue to complain you ain't realizing we continue to hold Hold back a whole situation mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen from the beginning of this this is not a one-man show it is not a one-man show yes. and it could never ever ever at no point in time be a one-man show okay. brothers and sisters there is only one man that moves as one man that speaks the anointing and the glory I ask you to reach out to him as one man and he will bless you as one man say he would and mm -hmm. that is christ brothers and sisters other than that no man can come wrong you nobody cannot directly testify to me that every single person in Trinidad and Tobago, the Caribbean and the world will die with COVID-19. Yes. If it is, we continue to be brothers and sisters. We must utilize Christ and mm -hmm. utilizing Christ is coming to humbleness. Yes. It's coming to not jumping out every two minutes in the open and talking about our necessary conversation. Is allowing Hello. Christ to speak in your midst, yes. speak in your spaces, yes. speak in your family, speak to your community, speak to your constituency. Yes, brothers and sisters, we are in the world but we are not to be of the world. We are to exactly. understand and utilize the word of God and the time have passed. Too much time has passed when it is we continue to navigate with our own understanding. Not me say the scripture say lean not on your own understanding. Yes. So that shows me ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, the statement is what each one help one yes. and we must be factual. We need to stick together in this while our brothers and sisters, as we say, need the support. We need to come up with the relevant form of support and if we can't, brothers and sisters, because we know they need it day after day, yes. well, then we need to allow God to work in our spaces. Yes. We need to allow him to take control of our environment. We need yes. to allow him to take control of our government, our hospital, our healthcare system, our education sector. Yes. We need to allow him to take care of our communities, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm. Brothers and sisters, tonight... Whether we be the person who is taking out the trash, sweeping up the hallway and emptying the garbage bags, or we are the individuals who our signature 
is needed to pass that final document, no matter what status yes. you hold tonight, status you hold tonight. We need God. We need God. We need not to be distracted or redirected in any way. This is not a, everything that is taking place right now. We could see man. We could see man's involvement. We could see the hand of man. But we need to understand that we cause things to happen on ourselves. All the ills that is taking place in our society right now is as a direct result of the decisions that we have made and continue to make as yes. time go by. We know that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But some of us tend to have the attitude as though we reach. We tend to have the attitude as though because they see me, because I'm the person who does keep this place clean every day, I just scrub all the toilets and polish all the desks and carry out all the garbage at the end every day and make sure this place is fit for you all, that my voice needs to be heard, or they need to hear what I am saying, or they need to take some my advice sometimes. People, you two are ashamed to call on God. And some people just too ashamed to call on his name. You will know his name. You will know who God really is. He said, some people tell me, young people, you too ashamed to call on God. Yes, yes. yes. No, no, that was it. Yes. And this is it, eh? But we will. And we the, will call on God. Yeah, and we the will continue is to there. call on God. And we will continue to encourage other young people to call on God. Because yes. this is the only soul, ladies and gentlemen. Other things have been tried in the past, but this is the only so we will get them to actually sit down and listen to the legacy and the history where they come from. Yes. We don't want nobody to forget the past. We don't want we East Indian brothers and sisters forget the past, no. just like how we don't want the African brothers and sisters forget the past. Yes. But all of us in Trinidad and Tobago must understand that we have a country to build, yes. and we cannot build the country without God. I mean, we already went Amen. far enough to take God out of school and a lot of conversations. Yes. But I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen, we are reaping the rewards. The fruits. Of what we sow yes and the time have come right now as yes. much as the government do you see all the conversation every day continue to be negative and negative and ne negative yes why ladies and gentlemen because we refuse to call on the name of god but the word says that the wheat and the tears will grow together until the day i have it sometimes you shoulder in with somebody and you yeah. don't even know that that person have the most evil intentions towards you mm -hmm. and the time that we live in right now we continue to see we hear in confessions on dying beds yes. we're seeing people asking for Amen. forgiveness we're hearing that people are crying out all kind of information coming out People who you thought were such right standing people hmm. in society, now all kind of skeletons just coming out the closet. And the people who you thought were nobodies, those are the people that stretching out a hand. Yeah. Those are the people that are being called on to offer Man. up a word of prayer. Yeah. You know, those are the people that could bring encouragement right now because they know the, the mentality and the strategy that silver and gold have I none, yes. but such as I have give I unto thee. The word of God says that he will exalt the humble and he will abase Amen. the proud. This is how God operates. He is looking and he's looking and he's not looking at what we wear or how we look he's yes. looking at our heart he's looking to see what we carry yeah. on the inside too he much evil has been bred in our society too much wrongs and ills have been done yes. overlooked our, our widows and our fatherless children and the people who are living lower class and on the poverty line in our society yes. for far too long we have treated them without respect and without regard and yes. these are things that god are totally displeased by yes. you know? I can't chill with them. I can't hang with them. I don't roll with them people. We, we talk to them anyhow and all how. What happened? You feel you want me to mind your children and me and come here for that and all mm. different kind of things we continue to do. And even, even we, we show in favoritism to those who we want to show. God is a respecter of no man. He didn't send his son to die for one class of people or only one particular people who bank in, in a specific place or bank account holding certain kind of figures. God is not concerned about how much pounds you weigh in tonight. He's He's not concerned about the color of your skin. He's not concerned about what kind of degrees, diplomas, or certificates, or whatever you're holding tonight. He's concerned about your heart. And it's time that we get our heart right. If we cannot see that the things we are experiencing right now yes. in Trinidad and Tobago and around the world is for us to get our life together, get our life right with him, because none of us, it was always like this, but we could say it loud and clear now because it's evident. None of us is promised tomorrow, brothers and sisters. The, the system could put what it wants to put in place. If God say that that nebula is that thing not going and help you, no medicine they administer unto you is going to help you. Your time is finished. I give you enough time. You did not do well by it. Better you sit down yourself and rest. 
it's time for you to lie down and rest. You make enough mayhem under the sun. You molest enough children or you do enough or you fulfill my purpose under the sun. There is absolutely nothing that man could do with all the intelligence, with all the resources that they have. There is nothing that man could do. It's time that we realize that time is against us and we start working out our salvation with fear and with trembling. If we understand what the word of God says, he said, let me just pull that verse, lover. Yes, yes, You yes. could take this from here. Let I me just pull that verse. I read it Steve Day by the time. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm taking it Steve Day by the time. I wait is I catch my, my lovely wife, Ali, saying, and we have to be real and reasonable. And brothers and sisters, I think so, a lot of time we continue to be, we continue to be in this position because we looking and we picking and choosing who we expecting to bring the support for us and yes. i want to remind you of the parable of the um the good samaritan brothers and sisters when this brother left from jerusalem and came down and ladies and gentlemen where he was left among you end up among thieves where he was stripped of all his earnings ladies and gentlemen and he was left for dead obviously he was beaten battered and bruised and the priest was coming down the road and the priest saw him and crossed on the other side mm. and went about his business mm. and that is one of the people who he was expecting to bring the relevant support because the man cried out and said he's a man of god yes. and then listen to me it said that a levite was passing and the levite and all crossed the road and gone about the business yes. but the scripture talk about this good samaritan this mm. person that the brother didn't know he wasn't expecting to receive yes. that relevant support brothers yes. and sisters who is the person bringing the support is God who always bring the support. If there's one person will never forsake you, will never leave you. Your cousin, your father, even the politician and all goes up might forsake you yeah. or will forsake you. The pastor and all might forsake you. Your True. wife and your husband, your children and all might forsake you. But True. brothers and sisters, if there's one person that we know will not forsake you is the Christ. And you yeah. need to understand that we have to apply the word of God as young people. We must cry out and yes. say, Jesus Christ is Lord. We must bring it compulsory in our communities. We must bring it compulsory. Our young men must know to rise up and they yeah. must know to call upon Christ in the daytime, in the nighttime, in the highways and the byways. Yeah. We must continue to proclaim the name of Jesus as we continue to live. I mean, far too often many families are broken and we're not understanding this because we refuse to practice God. We continue to leave our mothers open in the wilderness with our children yes. and expect them to hold the burden, expect them to hold the baggage and still expect them to bring up kings and yes. queens. Brothers and sisters, we need to stop fooling ourselves and yes. man up. We need to rise up in our nations, in our community and play our part yes it might be hard for you but you must remember if you're not grateful and thankful in small mercies it yes. is impossible for the almighty god that we serve to trust you in big mercies so we Amen. call on laborers tonight the Amen. harvest is ripe yes. but the laborers are few yes. brothers and sisters enough is enough Amen. enough panicking yes. enough complaining yes. enough making the wrong decisions yes. brothers and sisters enough saying that that is it we are the end of the line yet still you had the breath of god yes. in you and not understanding that god installed something in each and every one of us yes. brothers and sisters we need not yes. sit back and complain we yes. need to sit back and proclaim we need to sit Amen. back and we declare we Hallelujah. need to sit back ladies and gentlemen yes. praise and worship no, no, and exalt the name of god but but he said you cannot serve god and mama and that is so correct yes true. we cannot serve two masters it's all about prioritizing it's all about he tells he told us in his word that listen money will answer all things mm -hmm. however we have to put god first yes because he created even the money he created the Amen. grass all the herbs and fruits that we depend on he created all the animals yes. everything that we depend on for survival the oil the gas yes. come on think about it the gold all the different metals god Amen. created it the diamonds he created it so we need to put him first and Seek foremost first before anything else he said i think it's in the book of sam it said it is vain yes so set up late in the night Mm. worrying and wondering and trying to put everything in place and you're working extra hours double time and triple time and you're not taking a half a time out of that to say father i thank you Amen. father i pray for somebody who don't have a job Amen. father I, I pray for somebody who don't have a meal and when you get the salary you go and you drop a box of food for somebody he mm. said it is vain it's mm. vanity to set up late in the night and wake up early, early in the morning because you think all the time is against you <laughs> and you have to get certain yeah. things done. So we need to put God first. We need to chill Hold ourselves up. again. I believe, lover, I don't know about mm. anybody else, but my biggest lesson out of this pandemic, I mean, God, mm. by his in, in 
infallible wisdom had, had placed me in a position where he, he said, Annie, take it Amen. easy. Yes. Even before the pandemic come, because that's Irvin about mm -hmm. me. I was a, a neat freak. Everything had to be in an order, worrying down to the ground. But before the pandemic, the Holy Spirit started to say, Annie, go easy. Yes, Miss Jennifer. Take it see that. easy. And I believe that that is the biggest lesson, especially for me, yes. out at this time, that we need to learn to sit. We need to learn to leave Listen certain to. things alone sometimes. Yeah. We need to observe and pray. He said, watch and pray. The only thing that will matter really right now is your relationship with me and how often you intercede on behalf of your situation, on behalf of somebody else's situation. The book of Second Chronicles, chapter 7, verse 13 and 14 said. And if I shut if I shut up heaven mm -hmm. and there be no rain, or if I command the lotus to devour the land, mm -hmm. or if I send pestilence among my people, if my people who are called by my name Amen. shall humble themselves Amen. and pray and seek my face and turn from, from their, their wicked, wicked ways, ways, then yeah. I will hear from heaven Amen. and will forgive and, their sin and, and will heal their land. Their land. He said, if you should shut up the heaven. There could be drought, brothers and sisters. There could be famine, brothers and sisters. There could be locusts. There could be wars and rumors of wars. Jump there could be support. pandemics and disease and yes. all manner of things. Yes. There could be earthquakes. There could be storms. There could be tsunamis. He said, if my people Amen. who are called by my name, we know he called the Jews and we know he called the Gentiles. Yes. That means everybody, anybody. Amen shall humble themselves and pray. See me bigger now. I want you to see me. This is what God is saying to us. See me bigger than Dr. Keith Rowley. If you want to call him an Oreo, you want to call him a, um, what did us call the Prime Minister lover? The blank man on the other side. Monkey, you want to call him whatever kind of you want to call the Prime Minister. You want to call the President whatever you want to. You want to call um Dr. Paris Ram and his entire team, Dr. Truckman, Dr. Hines. You want to call them where you want the Minister of Health. You want to call Trinidad and Tobago what you want to call it. You want to call the world what you want to call it. You want to rather and prefer places. You want to do what you want to do. I am God. He said, I'm sending things now Amen. for you to realize. And he's sending even for Job, and Job was a man who was a good man. We're not running if my people who are called by my name. Yes. Just to co sign, ladies and gentlemen, let me head down to Ezekiel 1225. For I am the Lord, I will speak, and the words that I speak shall be shall come to pass. Brothers and sisters, we could do and say what it is we want. If we continue to not utilize the word of God, we continue to be irresponsible with our actions and continue to think that we're in this alone. And boy, I saw and bad piss on me. And I was a break from that accident because I'm lucky. And, and brothers and sisters, we cannot no longer continue going on with that. Amen. That is irresponsible actions. We're not teaching our children what we're supposed to teach them. And we're taking the short way out. And after taking the short way out and find ourselves boxed in, then we blame every single person. John, we see in here. Support for laundry. Yes. Let me just share this poem, please, lover. Yes. Hear my love call. Love your neighbors. You love yourself. Yes, Amen. John. Amen. Amen. Hear my call. It was written by your sister in the Lord, Annie. Just hey, a little inspiration. Let me get a poem here earlier. Thank you, sweetness. Just a little inspiration that God gave to me a couple years ago. You all know how it goes. It says, I asked for a bread. And this is Christ talking, the Holy Spirit talking, God talking to us. He said, I asked for a bread. You gave me a stone. I asked for a drink. Hmm. You gave me none. Hmm. Nevertheless, I see your pain. I'll shelter you from the falling rain. I have been calling ever since you were born. When the birds sang, myself I made known. I am just here to be your friend, Amen. a friend unlike any other. One who will guide you through life's endeavors. One who will love you in spite of. I'll be consolation when you feel like giving up. It's not too late. Would you answer my call? I promise you won't regret it at all. To somebody who don't believe, who not sure, who used to believe and you fall away because you get yeah. busy, you have, oh gosh, I'm working long hours, I can't go to church, I can't do this, I can't pray like I used to, I don't have the time. God is saying, give me you. Give me you. I just want you. I just want hmm. your heart. Let everything else go. Amen. Surrender all to Jesus. Yes, and give me you. Everything else can wait. Give me you. I know I'm not too late. 
Just say, Lord, give me you. Amen. Just say, Lord, give me you. Hallelujah. Just say, Lord, give me you. Say, Lord, give me you. Say, it's me, oh Lord. I'm on my knees. I'm crying out to you. Say, it's me, oh Lord. I'm on my knees. Give me you. Just give me you. Give me the work of Calvary's cross. Say, give, give me you. He was wounded for my transgression. Amen. He was Amen. bruised for Amen. my iniquities. Not Dr. Parastrand. Give the man a break. Let yes. the man do his work. Yes. The chastisement of my peace was upon Jesus Christ. Amen. And by his stripes you are healed tonight. The word says that he was wounded. Amen. He was afflicted. Amen. Yet he opened not his mouth. He Amen. exercised humility because he loved you that much, brothers and sisters. He set his pride, his his every fleshly thing aside because the word said that he was a hundred percent God yes. and a hundred percent man. He yes. could have acted up how we just act, but he set flesh aside. He laid down because God's purpose in him had to be revealed. It had to be fulfilled. Yes. It's the only way he could have resurrected on the third day to put to silence every force Thanks. of darkness, brothers and sisters. Ms. Elliot, we can bypass that. We must say thank you very much with you one time as you put it up. We must say thank you very much to all of our health heroes. Yes. All big up all yourself in every space that all in, those who home, Come those on. who vex, Come those on. who not vex, all those who understand the position that we are in. Brothers and yes. sisters, help up, big up. Help Amen. us big up our health sector. Yes. And ladies and gentlemen. Just now to run past that lover. Mm -hmm. right, right, in right. the earliest, we wanted to express it so much that we said, <laughs> you know what? Today is the day everybody will come out and everybody will give a round of applause. So every time I want, every time I think about saying thank you to the yeah. essential workers, I feel to give them a round of yeah. applause. It's the least we could do yeah. so to all our frontline and essential workers. Well, thank, thank you, you very, all much. very much. And ladies and gentlemen, just touching back on your scriptures, let me be real and reasonable. We're done in Proverbs 7. Wisdom mm -hmm. is the principle of things, therefore. Here it is. Wisdom is the principle of things, therefore. Get wisdom. And in all you're getting, brothers and sisters, we have to get understanding. Yes. Hey, we have to understand that we find ourselves in a position tonight and going forward, ladies and gentlemen, that none of us did plan for. But the heights is the God that we serve is worthy to be praised. And there is yes. nothing that he can handle. So despite what the enemy threw our way, despite what. Whoever it is true our way, because we listen to the conversation, we don't know whether it's man-made or it's storm-made, it was bought or dropped off. But at the end of the day, it is here and it yes. is in our society. We have a responsibility to stand and stand firm with Christ, yes. brothers and sisters. Amen. We are in the world, but we are not of the world. And if that is the same, it's high time we practice the faith that God installed in us. It's high time we utilize the faith, ladies and gentlemen, the same faith that if it's as small as a mustard seed, yes. you could say mountain be moved yes. and it will have Praise to God. move, yes. brothers and sisters. Each and every one of us have that faith and yes. let us get back to the beginning of where we was. Yes. Let us get back to our elder brothers and sisters. Let yes. we stick to the facts. People Amen. like Miss Elia to continue to come up on a daily basis and explain to us. She give us her history, explain to us people that she know, members that she know who died and who succumbed to yes. this virus. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, people is not hiding it. And now is not the time for us to be scared. Now is the time for us to rise up and proclaim the word of God. Yes. Now it's time for us to cry out to Christ yes. and let brothers and sisters know that we are ahead and not the tail. Amen. Despite what the enemy put in my path, I will continue to walk and walk with integrity. Amen. I will continue to speak and cry out on Jesus. Yes. He say, ask and we shall receive. Amen. So I call on Jesus tonight. Yes. I ask Jesus to take charge of the nation. Yes. Take charge of all the naysayers. Take charge of all yeah, the complacent yes, ones. Yes, Father, you just continue Jesus. to take charge take of our spaces. Take charge of each and every 
family yes. comfort all those who lose loved ones yes, along Lord. the way yes, and father Lord. strengthen yes, all Lord. those who is in the health system father yes, you Lord. help and you cushion our health is our essential workers yes god remember them lord yes hebrews chapter 12 and verse 11 says no discipline seems pleasant for a time but painful george we see yeah later on however it produces a harvest of righteousness mm -hmm. and peace for those who have been trained by it yes. and tonight we just want to say to all of our men yes. brothers control all yourself yes. to all of our women control all itself yes. to our young ladies and our young men our young people those who have youth life energy and vigor let us control yes. ourselves yes. let us not be filled with vanity flesh and lust Amen. seeking to chase after the things of this world because mm. there is a way that seems right unto a man Amen. but the end thereof are the ways of death man god has given you dominion he has placed the power and authorization over you so that you can speak and set things in order in your environment so that you can take care of yes. so that you could watch over so that you could guide and mentor but if you're taking advantage because you have the authority then you are doing wrong yes. we say brothers control all yourself yes. we leave we leave things and we set things in a, in a certain type of way Amen. in our environments Amen. over the years we've been hurt by our great 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 greats yes. and coming down the road and things have been swept under the carpet it's time we start controlling ourselves yes. social media is here media is here the pandemic is here the skeletons are out of the closet yes. now we see in everything the word of god tells us that there is nothing that is hidden hmm. that shall not be revealed Amen. because god has been taking note but now it's time he wants his children to speak directly into it yes. so he exposed us to it so we're asking for some control Amen. children decency and order please your children your parents are working with you your teachers are working with you yes. cooperation is needed because Amen. your best Amen. interest is at heart. we're asking for some control we're asking for some discipline yes. we're asking that the food of the spirit be made manifest in all of our spaces Amen. decency and order is of god yes. confusion is not we asking tonight for some control in our spaces and we asking that god be true and every man a liar and all those that hate him flee remove every form of evil mighty Amen. god from our spaces for you have blessed us with this earth yes. and you said whatever we bind in this earth Amen. shall be bound in heaven and whatever we loose in this earth Amen. shall be loose in heaven yes. so tonight we declare hallelujah that we will have peace yes. love joy faithfulness honesty we will have brotherly love mighty god Amen. and we'll have decency and order and reverence to you we will put you first and foremost in everything that we do we ask that the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart tonight and always will be acceptable in your sight oh god our strength and our redeemer amen thank you lord amen thank you lord brothers and sisters just to elaborate on it a little bit you now we might have one or two in the midst that might say well boy only, only talking that because only thing and only in this position and i have to take this deal because only don't know what it is i dealing with brothers and sisters while you say we don't know what you're dealing with, we bring the scriptures to you. Yes. If you don't know the scriptures and you do wrong, well, then you don't know. Yes. But at the end of the day, if you know, if you know and you continue to do wrong, You'll well, then you will. So yeah. let me bring the scriptures to you. Do not enter the path of wicked, of the wicked. Brothers and sisters, mm. do not enter the path of the wicked Amen. and do not walk in the way of evil Amen. so let me tell you something if somebody come to you especially those of us who are influencer influencers on social media those of us who are doing good in our community somebody step to you to promote dotishness to promote negativity to promote fear propaganda or even self you gotta be real and reasonable allow the word of god to take charge of our position allow him to speak over our life allow him to speak over our communities yes. brothers and sisters we must understand when we are children we are to think like children and act like children Amen. today we are adults and yes. mind me there are those who are older than us and they are expecting us to act and conduct ourselves the right way yes. right now our nation is expecting those the young strong ones to come up with proper ideas to come up with relevant support to yes. help to endorse in building back our nation Amen. yes we have been hit with a massive blow this yes. COVID-19 but at yes. the end of the day we will pick up the pieces and move you know why because we are children of God we will Amen. rise up and we will say Jesus Christ 
is Lord, Lord, and we will not be moved. We will continue to thank God for having us in the land of the living. Yes. We will continue to thank him for breathing breath in our lungs and continue Amen. to thank him for waking us up in the morning. So ladies and gentlemen, we want to encourage you, despite what position you're in, despite yes. what you have or yes. what you don't have, despite what it is you think you should have, yes. understand, despite what argument, you probably was a killer, a murderer, a prostitute. You yes. probably was somebody who didn't like good for others. Mm. Brothers and sisters, we cannot go forward with that. And yes. listen to me, listen to me, brothers and sisters, we need to surrender. Yes. A lot of us find ourselves in positions today because we compromise into the easy way out. Yes. We, we say in that boy, everybody else doing this, we cannot continue to function with mm. that type of styling. We continue to have our children to educate. We have generational curses mm. to break. We have economies to build. We yes. have people to continue to support. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to be real and reasonable Amen. with what it is we're dealing with. Yes. So we want to continue to ask you all to give us the, so the continuous support yes. in giving God praise, honor, and glory, yes. despite what we have or we don't have, despite how tall, how dark, how fair, how white, how Indian, or how African, or how Chinese we are. Yes. We're asking you to rise up with us tonight, despite yes. what religion you is. And brothers and sisters, let me give God the praise, the honor, and the glory, and let me Amen. thank Him for having us in the land of the living. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Can have this here that the Holy Spirit be on my mind. But you know, we're just praying all things, brothers and sisters, that tonight our word would continue to bring encouragement to you and bring light unto you because you know this is our heart desire to please God and nothing but to please God. It doesn't make no sense that we continue to live and time continues yes. to be wasted, brothers and sisters. We have to want better, you know, in order to get better. We have to actually work towards the better we have to see it before it even happen and stay focused like the interview we was watching with the young lady that got nine distinctions and congratulations to you but yes, you know all in all life sent things at her even in her tender age life sent things at her while she was in examination and stuff but she stayed focused because her purpose Amen. her vision that was bigger and importantly enough she had christ brothers and sisters she had a relationship with god and so she was able to um to stay strong and to stay focused through it all so mm -hmm. no matter what you're going through tonight you know i was just looking for the verse that said whoever shall ask you know and whatever you ask it shall be done as long as you ask with faith and in jesus name it shall be given unto you this is what i was looking for tonight and of course the part of that that we like to take away is whoever yeah and shall ask whatever and of course as long as you ask it with faith and in jesus name amen so i just want to share with us tonight again i would have liked to read it but it wasn't able to pull it up in time but um it doesn't matter I what pass been? no i didn't get oh, it didn't get. yeah it doesn't matter what past you may have it doesn't matter what life may send at you now you might be in a position where you feel like selling something that is a prized possession to you like we saw in the video yeah. you might be in a position to sell something that god give you um you know, to watch over and to take care and to nurture. You might be in a position where you feel like even selling your own self yes. or your own soul. But remember, the word of God cannot lie forever. It is established in the heavens and on yes. the earth. He's the same yesterday, today, and even forevermore. The father and the king and the ruler of generation to generation, everlasting to everlasting. Yes. He's the only being that, that has any author, authority position Amen. or position of power Amen. that lasts till eternity and beyond brothers Amen. and sisters and he said you know what despite what people say about you what kind of past you have how they use you abuse you you yourself may have messed up in all different <laughs> ways yes however you label yourself to be or people label you to be if you believe in my son jesus christ mm -hmm. whatever you may ask it shall be given unto you despite who you are whatever yes. your care your concern john 14 13 Yes. Right. Whatever your care, your concern might be, ask in believing in Jesus' name. We want to encourage somebody tonight to run to the feet of the altar. If you don't have a relationship with God, this is between you and God. Yes. You know, you go before God. You can even do it now because nobody else. We are not there with you, yes. but the Holy Spirit is there with you, bearing witness and even making intercession on your behalf. We don't know what tomorrow holds. Yes. We don't know what your tomorrow holds. We don't even know our own tomorrow home, much less for yours. Yes. But brothers and sisters, cry out to God. Let him know the position that you are in. Father, this is me. 
as open as I am, as broken as I am, as tattered and, and as torn as I am, as flesh and blood as I am, this is me with my past, my present, and my future. But I want you to be part of my future because I don't know exactly where I am going, but I know I need you to be there because I've tried alcohol, I've tried sex, mm -hmm. I've tried um, stealing, I've tried drugs, I've tried different things, God, but I need you to be there because I want to see a difference. I've given you a try now in my life. And, you know, I accept the work that your son Christ has done. Yes. Amen. And Father, I commit my life in your hands from now on. I just want you, I need you to be part of my life. And you continue talking to God every day from then on out. Make time to sing a little something if all you know is, thank you, Lord. I just want to thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. If all you know is thank you, Lord, brothers and sisters, the Holy Spirit laid a song in my heart one time, and the song just went over and over saying the same thing. Win the hearts of the ones that I love, Lord, as you want mine, as you want mine. And I just kept singing that over and over. And before long, you know, I was in tears and interceding on behalf of my friends, my family, even my ex who was abusive, I interceding on behalf mm -hmm. of everybody because I just wanted God to find... um find them you know i just wanted them to come to know god so that the, the life wouldn't continue being cycles because as much as i am sitting here with my husband and many of us in these positions and there's a conversation some of us doesn't want to talk about i don't want anything with my ex from my ex or much probably not even to do with him but he has a soul and of course just like Irvin and his they have children and you know they will meet people in life and sometimes people continue to hurt people yeah. abuse people and treat people bad so it's all about the soul at the end of the day we need to learn to love we need to learn to amen. forgive and we need to learn to accept people for being people amen you know, everybody makes mistakes. Our leaders make mistakes. And not because we could point out the mistakes. We will talk about it day in, day out. They are, they are the not God. Everything. They cannot fix themselves. No man comes unless the Spirit draws them. Amen. We need to have that level of confidence and blessed assurance in God so that we are blessed able to speak assurance. more maturely, not the lingo of the day. Well, I don't know. You know, show that aside, set it aside, be in the world but not of the world. Rise above when the enemy comes like a oh, roaring lion and expects you to go with the tide. You jump above this and you handle Love your business because God is with you. He's looking at you and he's expecting you again mm. to fulfill his purpose under the Son, brothers and sisters. So Amen. The heart's cry is that the word of God Climb says that the, the whole of heaven mountain. rejoices to any one soul around, that comes to know Jesus nobody. as Lord and our Savior because Amen. He is the way, the, the truth, truth and, the life. and the life, brothers and sisters. Amen. Brothers and sisters, Hallelujah. while we at it, we want to ask you to take a moment of silence with us as we celebrate the life of our brother Dion Lendo. And we could only do it. And the only way I see us doing it fit and respectable, we say condolences to the families. Yes. Because those guys, they, he and the team, they actually doesn't utilize politics to hold them back. Yes. They don't utilize complaining. When they get the opportunity to go out and raise that red, white, and black flag, yes. ladies and gentlemen, these men do it. Yes. So one of our comrades have fallen so to that entire family and every person that is connected to Dion Lendo, which should be every Trinbegonian citizen. Yes. We're saying condolences to the family and we're doing it the only way that we know how to do it. Let me hold a moment of silence, please. <laughs>
to, to the friends and the family, all our associates, condolences to Trinidad and Tobago. We know that we are supposed to stand yes. for the hearing of the national anthem or the instrumental, but brothers and sisters, we would have been way out of. Yes. You know, so we do apologize for that. And it's not a form of disrespect, but we must say condolences to the family and yes. all those who lose loved ones yes. along the way, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. With other illnesses, with COVID-19, with whatever it is, we say in condolences. Yes. And at the end of the day, we know Mr. Lendo is a national icon. And we just wonder, this is why we continue to encourage brothers and sisters in our nation. Let us continue to give our icons the respect and give them the forward while they are alive. Amen. Let us continue to promote because this is the only how our young people will utilize the talent and the giftings that we actually have, that we are blessed with in this blessed nation that is called Trinidad and Tobago. Yes. While we continue to complain, we started off with a video day that was very disturbing. Brothers and sisters, we apologize, but it was just to prove a point. And the point is, ladies and gentlemen, while we complain and say everything going to hell in a handbasket, we as a people must rise up and play our part in society we cannot continue to complain and be negative right through over and over while we continue to use lose brothers and sisters and loved ones along the way yes and no matter how bad no matter how bad we think that our situation is mm. we need to remember that somewhere somebody is suffering more than we are suffering Amen. and that in itself should be encouragement you know, you might like what you have to eat, like we just tell the children sometimes when, you know, you might not like it, but somebody somewhere in the world would give everything that they have. They might get a broken arm or leg just to try to get to that plate of food mm. that you have. So we shouldn't take, we should be grateful, brothers and sisters, mm. and we should express that love and appreciation one to each other because we never know what could happen next. And we might be asking Felix how it is we knowing these people, how it is we Matthew 12 35 explain a good man out of the good treasures of his heart bring forth good things. Mm. So that is a way you make it out. And listen, same scripture, same verse. And an evil man out of the evil treasures bring forth evil things. So all we got to do is pay attention. Some of us just have to slow down. Matter of fact, all of us yes. got to slow down. Yes. We had to slow down. Let we understand what it is we're dealing with. We cannot continue to be complacent, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. And we cannot continue to leave our responsibilities and leave every single thing up to other people yes. and expect proper results, expect to build families and expect to build proper legacies, expect to educate our children while we not utilize God and not act respectful at the same time. True. So, brothers and sisters at 640 Television here tonight, we thanking each and every one of you, you guys. So. And before we we go in under the blood, yeah, you before we go under the blood, I just want to read this one comment here from Steve John. It said, Mr. Steve John, it said, go out there, people, and help save a sheep, a lamb, like Jesus did. Even if it's on the Sabbath day, mm -hmm. go there and see if someone. Amen. And that is so powerful, that is so profound, you know. There's no excuse. There is no um, there is no nothing that we could put in the way or put before God, as we always say. And remember that you know each one needs to help one, brothers Amen. and sisters. People need people the same way hurting people hurt people is the same way that good people need encouragement from good people. Yes. It's the same way that people just need people because that's how it was designed to be. The minute we allow serpents to come in our spaces and start whispering in one of our ears for them to come and bring back a message to the rest of us we in some serious problems so let us be accountable to each other as much as we could let's maintain that peace while we may have differences yes. geographical locations and races and religions and things but let us maintain that peace one to another and be accountable Amen. to each other so that we could be stronger together so no no serpent mm. could come and say eat from the fruit now you know or today is the Sabbath. Leave the donkey in the hole, although you need it the very next day to go and help you in the field, but leave it in the hole. You have no guarantee if it will live or if it will die. You can help it now. Mm -hmm. Leave the donkey in the hole. Let's not have that mentality. 
let us be proactive instead of waiting for something to happen and then to react to it like oh my god and i didn't know we have mm -hmm. a responsibility today let us not make any excuse in fulfilling our responsibilities so we'll be saying like brothers and sisters in the world see the light in you let yes. them see the difference in you yes let them sit back and understand you remember this song someone asked a question mm -hmm. Why do we sing? They say, why do we sing? When we lift our hands to Jesus. When we lift our hands to Jesus. What do we really mean? What do we really mean? Someone hey. may be wondering. Some of you may be wondering. When we sing a song. When we sing a song. At times we may be crying. At times we may be crying. And nothing's even wrong. And nothing's even wrong. I sing because I'm happy. We sing because we're happy. I sing because I'm free. We sing because we're free. His eye is on the sparrow. His eye is on the sparrow. And that's the reason why I sing. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, family and friends, we want to thank each and every one of you all for tuning in with us. But this is the time in the program where we put each and everything under the blood. Amen. Brothers and sisters, your finances under the blood. Yes. We put in families under the blood. So whether you're from Guaya Guayari, you could be from Shaka Shakari, Edinburgh 500, East West Corridor, you're from Digo Martin, East blood. Digo Martin West. Under the blood. You could be from Karanaj, Princess Town, Pity Valley, Pity Boo. Under the blood. Matter of fact, wherever you're from, ladies and gentlemen, you could type it up once you had the time. Where under the, blood. under the blood so yes. you could be from belmont you could be from moruga you could be from manzalena you could be from wherever toko under the blood ladies and, Bless. Good night. ladies and gentlemen you could be from toko you could be from tobago and all you could be from black rock cascara you could be from lowlands plummet wherever you're from under the blood. i've seen lavantil under the blood yes. i've seen miss elliot under the blood Amen. we've seen miss ferron family under the blood yes. ladies and gentlemen we put in each and every family that is on the live even those that would be passing through after the live because we all know we have brothers and sisters out there on the work field we yes. know we have brothers and sisters commuting to and from work yes. so brothers and sisters we know we have people around the world who yes. now waking up some of us now looking to go and sleep but we put in every situation under the blood every nation under the blood. every continent under the blood. brothers and sisters we put in under the blood. central under the blood yes. we put in point 14 under the blood. ladies and gentlemen so whether i live in see just airini carcass you could be living penal family. baby Barapo, under the blood. Whether you're living um Labre, under the blood. You could be living with, with that place, Oropuch, under the blood. Pinal. Under the blood. Uh -huh. Forget that. Wherever you're living, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, wherever in Trinidad, Tobago, wherever in the Caribbean, so whether it's a Grenadian, Vincentian, Kayakunian, you could be from wherever. Under the blood, Caripichima. Caripichima, we see Cat you. Lucas. Ladies and gentlemen, you, you could be living in New York City. Under the blood. You could be living in Canada. Under the England, blood. Amsterdam, Tokyo, Baghdad. Under the blood of Brothers Jesus. and sisters, we want to put with healthcare. Under the blood. We put in families. Under the blood. I hear somebody grieving say families. grieving families. Under the blood of Brothers Jesus. and sisters, we put in marriages. Under the blood. Generational curses. Under the blood We put of in Jesus. businesses. Under the blood. We put in our children and our loved ones. Under the blood We put in our Jesus. governing authority, our honorable prime minister and Jesus. the entire cabinet. Yeah. Yes, under the precious blood of Jesus Ladies Christ. and gentlemen, we put in the opposition of Trinidad and Tobago. Under the blood. We even want to put our brothers and sisters over there in Tobago, the PDP administration. Under the blood. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we put in each and every one of the citizens in Trinidad and Tobago, the Caribbean, and the world in, in extension. Under the blood. Brothers and sisters, we're asking you to stay under the blood. Utilize what God have you. If you're not grateful in small mercies, I see Miss, who is that? Mrs. Sagwai. Nah, I feel like that type. Eh? Yes, I feel like good. that type. type, type yes. Cool. Please, okay, um, but it's Ontario. Yeah, Ontario. I pronounce that word, but Ontario. Ontario. Well, right. Wherever you are, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you're from, some of the words you might be able to pronounce at the end of the day, we put in each and every family under, under the, blood. the blood. Brothers and sisters. The Lando family under the blood. Yes, let me put the Lando yeah. family, all those who are the Budlal family under, Budlal the, blood. under the blood, brothers yes. and sisters? We must put Princess Town. We have to put Edinburgh, Edinburgh, Edinburgh 500. Brothers and sisters, we put in Shogunas under the blood. Pinal, Cuba, under yes, the blood yes, of yes, Jesus yes, tonight. yes, 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 yes. We put in yes. the 648 program, the FYI team, a lovely wife and myself. Under the blood. We put in Diego our Martin, parents, under the blood. brothers and sisters, under the blood. even family members. Under the blood of Jesus. Yes, I see him. The, 
Prime Minister Christopher Dr. Yes Man under the blood. Children and the cabinet under the blood. Under of the Jesus. blood. And ladies Amen. and gentlemen, I hand over to my lovely wife to close us off in our word of prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we praise you. We worship you and we exalt your holy name. Amen. Tonight, we thank you for being in our midst, oh God. We thank you for taking complete control. Amen. We thank you for sending your only son, Jesus Christ, to die for our sins. We thank you for protecting us from danger, seen and unseen. Yes, yes, Father, we yes. give you praise, honor, and glory, Lord, for continuing yeah. to make us, mold us, and shape us. We thank you tonight, God, for being greater, mightier, and stronger yes, than Lord. any obstacle we could face in our midst. We, we thank you, God, for giving yes. us the power and giving us faith as small Lord, as a mustard yes. seed so that we could speak to mountains and see them removed from our way, way mighty God. To Tonight, Father, way. we just want to exalt your holy name for all you have done yes. and for blessings on the way, Amen. Father. So many things could have gone wrong, Amen. Lord. And yes, even Lord. in the midst yes, of all that yes, we are Lord. seeing, Father, we are still here. We are still here to praise you to we lift say, you Lord, up to worship your majesty. You. Father, we adore your holy name for yes, you are holy, holy, holy. Lord God praise. Almighty, Father, there is none like you. Amen. You are much less than power, Amen. mighty God. Hallelujah. Amen. Your glory goes to Hallelujah. one end of the earth to the other, Father God. Lord, you are clothed in righteousness, yes. glory. Father, yes. we just praise your holy name tonight. Hallelujah. We thank you tonight, mighty God, for even the name of your son, Jesus yes. Christ, God, at the mention of which every knee will bow and every tongue shall confess yes, that he is Jesus Lord, Christ Father God. Is Lord of all lords. Amen. We thank you for that Amen. name, Jesus, tonight. That name, Jesus. That name, Jesus. Amen. That name, Jesus. That name, Jesus. We thank you for that name, Jesus, tonight, Father God. To that name, Jesus, over mountain. our health. That name, Jesus, Father, over our marriages. Duke that name, Jesus, God, over our children, over our nobody. nations, over our minds, our bodies, and our souls, yes. mighty God. Yes, that Lord. name, Jesus, yes, over Lord. our yes, friends Lord. and yes, our Lord. enemies. That name, Jesus, we over our finances and over our education, valley. Father God. That name, Jesus, the over our salvation tonight. There, Father God, we thank you for the blood that never loses its power. We yes, thank Lord. you that tonight we Hallelujah. have the victory. We have the victory for we are more than conquerors. Father, we thank you tonight that there is absolutely Couldn't nothing that can separate nobody. us from your love, oh yes. God. We just thank you tonight, yes, Father Lord. God, and adore you, Father Lord. Hallelujah. Lord. For you are our Father. Father, you Still are our king, you are our Lord, you are our provider, yes. our master, burden bearer, you are nobody our rock and our greater. strong tower, you are our safe and our hiding place, There's Lord, you are our glory and the lifter up of our head, nobody Father God. Than you. Father, and you are able to accomplish exceedingly and abundantly. Yes, Lord, Father, yes, Lord, we yes, Lord. Or even think, Lord. So, Lord, tonight we just Search pray, oh God, that you would have your perfect will and way over the life of our children, oh God. The life of our nations, Father God, the yes. future, Father God, of what yes. is going on in this world, mighty God, as we continue to stay close to you yes, and Lord. call upon you, Father God. Yes, Lord. Father God, for in season and out of season, for your word yes, says, Lord, yes, Lord, Lord, that the effectual and the fervent prayer of the righteous are this much. And while we know that we are far from righteous, God, hallelujah. Mighty but Father, we are made perfect God. in you for everything that you are, Father God, yes. is made perfect in us as your creation. So you tonight we thank you, God, for all you have done place. and for blessings on the way. We thank you for peace. We thank you for love. We thank you for joy. We thank you for patience, God. You we thank you for your grace is sufficient for us. We thank you for your yes. mercies and new every to morning, mighty God. We thank you for greatest your faithfulness, God. We worship you, you tonight, God, for your mercy and your forever. We thank you tonight, Father. Mighty we thank you for being God. in our midst, oh God. And until we meet again, yes. keep us safe under the precious blood of your Son, you Jesus Christ. You are welcome Christ. in this in name, place. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you, Mighty Lord. God, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You are welcome in this place. Hallelujah. Abba Father, you are worthy of all praise. To you, our hearts, hearts be raised. You are welcome in this place. Mighty God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hmm. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hello, God. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, family and friends, we want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in, for viewing with us 
Once again, we say this is six for television. All you know is all about you and my lovely wife. Annie. And brothers and sisters, it's always a blessing. Yes. Being with you on a nightly basis. Yes. It's always a blessing when we meet and, and, and we get the fellowship. Yes. Again, we must thank Facebook for giving us the opportunity, Facebook Meta for giving us the opportunity to express ourselves on your platforms. Yes. Brothers and sisters, we thank each and every one of you for tuning in, for viewing with us, for commenting. Yes. And again, we would be irresponsible if we go forward without saying happy birthday to each and every one of our brothers and sisters that celebrate birthdays today. So we're saying happy, happy birthday, birthday, happy, happy birthday, birthday, happy, happy birthday. birthday. We hope you didn't get a cambio cake for your birthday today. Yes, and if you ain't get a cambio cake, or if it is you have a garden and it ain't have a cambio cake. It's just a meeting. It's just a meeting. <laughs> brothers and sisters, and here is, if it is you happen to be in the point for area, area, you must remember, we brothers and sisters at Tasty Mode, all yes. big up all the self-management and staff, yes. ladies and gentlemen, Tasty Mode is out and about, and they are back. So if it is you moving through, and you find it kind of hard that you can't get up to make the breakfast because you're trying to stay on time, well, I'm telling you, by half past five, six o'clock, you're catching your breakfast by Tasty Mode, and yes, the $5 deal continue. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm? Yes, brothers and sisters. So... For those of you who are not too sure where Tasty Mode is, a New Year start business as usual. Yes. For those of you who are not too sure where Tasty Mode is, it's in point 14 on the main road a little lower down, right after the gas station across the road from the bar yard in the Open Bible Cathedral Yard in point 14. Tasty Mode, brothers and sisters, and they do deliver. Yes. So Tasty Mode is just a phone call away, and we'll have that information running for you Yeah, all. we go get a fresh commercial, and we will get it going again, because at the yeah. end of the day, Tasty Mode brought blessing. To us and we wish it have a tasty mode throughout Trinidad and Tobago. Tasty mode, I hope you're listening eh, because brothers and sisters on the platform who live in Moruga, Claxton, Bay, San Fernando, Rio Claro, tongue all over the place stating that they can't get sada with any vegetable for five dollars because we don't know vegetables is the way because we're building our immune system. Yeah. So, brothers and sisters, only remember tasty mode. And again, if we had to run back the commercial for two days just to, until we do over a proper one, until we do over a recent up to date one at 20. 22 one yes. because at the end of the day 2021 they supply us with food that are reasonable and attack wall and with quality yes Fab. and at the end at coming down to the end of 2021 they did add another dish yes which is roti cultural dish of trinidad and tobago to their menu roti. Say 12 dollars for a small roti ladies and we are hearing that 20 dollars for a large we are hearing that mm. brothers and sisters family and friends so here what going on as you know if it is, you ain't taste a cambio cake and cambio, we waiting on you, the people waiting on the information. I seen Miss Elliot done putting up hearts and loves already. So let me get the information so brothers and sisters could stop bad, spend their money and buy the thing where they know it tasting good. You ain't tell the people you cut the cake yesterday. Yeah, I was not going into oh, that. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, you see the cake decorated and the cake looking nice. But oh, God. Well, yeah, I had to stop myself. The inside of the cake, nice like the outside of the cake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even probably even nicer. It's yeah. nice, it's nice, it's nice inside out. <laughs> the inside of the cake, nice like the outside of the cake. Yes. So brothers and sisters, cambio. Keep up the good work. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So we want to say at this time, mm -hmm. did we send anniversary greetings? Yeah, nope, we stop nope, at nope, birthdays. No, nope, no, nope, no, nope. we stop at birthdays. Well, with the birthdays, all I remember, so you can get the cake and you can get the food, right? Because tasty mode is also cater. Uh huh. Right? And to the men, you know, we just get the wife a little vex and thing because you know them trying and them one of you, wife one of me, daddy, you wash your hand before you come inside and you know we forgetting. So, brothers and sisters, if it is today's your anniversary, we wish everyone. Happy, happy anniversary, anniversary, happy anniversary, anniversary happy, happy anniversary. anniversary. May God richly bless your union. And again, tomorrow, please. I ain't sure if you might be able to get short notice, but you could think for a food and notice. If it is you're working in the morning, you could organize with tasty mood where you could order the three meals, get delivered, and on top of that, you get your cambio cake when you're coming home. So whoever vex and whatever mistake you make and whatever quarrel you had, it come and it fall back because she was saying, now nah, boy, this man really bring this cambio cake and on top. <laughs> It's thank God for Jesus. Oh, yeah, all I hear is saying is thank God for Jesus. Eh? Yes. <laughs> he said, forgive so that you will be forgiven. It's thank God for Jesus. We hear in the plans. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> brothers and sisters, family and friends, we thank each and every one of you for tuning in. Yes. All you know is all about you, and as my lovely wife, Annie does say. If you're mourning tonight, yes. we, are, we, we, are, we are mourning with you. Yes. So, condolences to all the families that have lost loved ones. Lendo during family. This time. The Lendo family. All the families, I'm The George family, the Bartholomew slash Aguilera slash yeah. 
um, that mean, family. The list, the list long. So all the families that lost loved ones long. during this time, Mr. Vera, you and your family. Yes. Yes. We ask God for strength, for peace, you know, mm -hmm. at this time. So if you lost loved ones, if you're mourning, we're mourning with we'll you. Tell you love you too. And if you're rejoicing, we are rejoicing with yes. you as well. And remember, people, that being a good person is not an option. But that's the only option in today's society. So let yes. me be right. Let me be good. Let me motivate each other. Let yes. me praise God. And let yes. me do it proudly and loudly. Yes. Trinidad and Tobago, ladies and gentlemen, 648 family, we thank you for tuning in. We thank you for viewing with us. And until we meet again tomorrow, please, the Lord. Well, a matter of fact, well, please don't forget Miss Jennifer Frederick is on tomorrow. Please, the Lord, with what? Let me talk the thing. Well, let me talk the thing now, man. Between the hours of one and two. Yes. So I'll let you into Miss Jennifer Frederick. And right after that, I'll let you know we had an into real talk with all the boy Ruben. And again, we're coming back around in the afternoon with Under the Blood. So let me just ask God to take charge of the 648 platform. Let me ask God to cover those, all those who made covenants this year and say that they will reach out and mm -hmm. make sure that we don't have to go through the, the pressure and the strain alone. And yes. well, I'm at of fact, we wasn't in it alone because we, we must give our viewers the relevant support is all who have this thing going and continuing to go. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, every every hamper we distribute, every most of the conversation we have, ladies and gentlemen, is because we sit back and we listen. Yes. So we thank you all for tuning in with us. Only let me stay focused, let me stay blessed, let me stay covered. And remember, God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. So all your blessed good night. Bless, good night, everybody. Until we meet again. Good night. Good night. Bless, bless, bless good day, six for it, family, brothers and sisters around the world. Allah bless good day. Again, all the news all by moving, who hosts a six for television, who hosts a real talk, who hosts under the blood. Just giving you a gentle reminder. Mind me, brothers and sisters, take the information right here. Now, mind me, you have your businesses to advertise. Contact us. You will get it to the relevant persons. Brothers and sisters, all the news look at six for television is each one help one right brothers and sisters each one help one so ladies and gentlemen brothers and sisters we see in contact us i mean contact us let we get the information out there two brothers and sisters who are actually focused and steadfast on what is taking place mind me this 2022 is 2020 me 2020 you are 2020 all of us in this together so ladies and gentlemen brothers and sisters family and friends from all boy Irvin, the fyi team and my lovely wife annie only contact 64 Television and let us get your information out there to brothers and sisters that is in dire need of proper services. So only big up all yourself. Remember to stay focused. All we small businesses, all we big businesses, those who have the, the, the fruits and whatever business, only link 64 Television. That is what we're here for. All are we is one family. Hello and good day, 648 TV family. It's your girl Annie, co host of 648 TV. So, we have some information to share with you, whether you're from Point Fortin, Trinidad and Tobago, or anywhere in the world that you are. Listen to the information, brothers and sisters, and know that we are very glad to continue each one helping one because we know our chain is only as strong as its weakest link. Here's the information. Have you lost a loved one and feeling the blues, but have so many friends and family to call to give them the news? We understand that your grief can sometimes have you low. So to help, we are now offering obituaries on our daily shows. We'll help you get the word around that your loved one has passed on. We'll tell others of relatives connection and also funeral information. Call or WhatsApp 648 Television at 324-0844 to book your obituaries today. We look forward to doing business with you and of course, as always, very glad to serve you. 648 TV family, nothing but love. Blessings, everybody. My blooder. I need you to stop the line, eh? <laughs> I need you to work on it. I'm watching my brothers and sisters, the way them living. Them going to church, but they're not giving. Coming to church every Sunday, but don't want to put up a million. Hoping no 
God watching And you need to work on them things All them lying where you tell it The way you walk, the way you walk on that All them dream where you tell it The way you walk, the way you walk on that I said it think I'll gossip in right Walk on that, all this sin you told it Walk on that Where you walk on the way, the things that I say When you get fixed you're not testifying when you know that you're blessed. Oh, you walk on the, walk on the, walk on the, walk on the, oh, walk on the, walk on the, walk on the. Oh, gosh, you got hurt with your dirty jokes. Them don't know you're a Christian when you go to work. Cause your conversation dirty, like not of the bar. Why you leave it so? Why you walk on the, all the night we're telling you, where you walk. Where you walk on the way, the things that I say To your brother and sister Where you walk on the way, the things that I say On the social media Where you walk on the Walk on the Walk on the Walk on the Of a helping hand 